Hey YouTube, so I'm doing another unboxing video. As you can see, this is Nirvana's uh, Unplugged in New York 25th anniversary. Uh, it's a 2LP. It's got some bonus tracks. Um, this is actually like six months in the making. Well, more like, I guess five, but uh, my brother got this for me for my birthday back in May, and I haven't been able to visit him because of the pandemic and we finally crossed paths today so he gifted this to me and I am extremely excited get a little bit of a zoom in on the hype sticker there one of the most notable differences between this and like the standard release you can kind of see the foil border there on the picture Same thing with the track listings. If you look back here, you can kind of see how it's foil. That's pretty cool. I like the deluxe cover. And honestly, Nirvana has done an amazing job on these, these reissues. The only complaint that I would have so far would be um, Nevermind. And it's not so much the packaging. I mean, they did a crazy huge release with a bunch of extras and stuff in it. But uh, more so the... The mix when they remastered the um, Nevermind release. I just wasn't really impressed with the remaster. I'm really, I have a Palace reprint, um, reissue, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm real happy with it. I'm not sure how it compares to maybe a Mobile Fidelity or original pressing, but um, I'm happy with it. I also really like that. That purple marble looks amazing. Look at that. But yeah, I mean, this so far has been pretty consistent. The In Utero uh, 20th anniversary was really nice. And then... Um, And um, Incesticide was a 45 RPM, which was nice. And here's the download card. And you can see, let me cover up the code. You can see that they are even giving you WAV files. And that's another thing is like they've been really good about, even on the digital downloads, they're giving you high quality files versus just the standard MP3. Look at that orange marble awesome looks looking really cool i have to admit that i'm really starting to buy in more into the colored vinyl um i typically in the past have stayed away from it not just for cost purposes because typically if there's two versions out they'll usually charge you you know five bucks more to get the colored vinyl versus the black but um I had a couple of bad ex experiences with colored vinyl pressings. Uh, Dave Matthews Van's reissue of Crash had uh, just, I got two of them and they were both terrible. And um, I got the black version, uh, black vinyl version, and it was much better. So, um, but now nah, these, uh, I'm still, I'm starting to just really fall in love with the colored vinyl. Um, they look really good, but uh, my brother's. Got my number here when it comes to presents and Nirvana's Unplugged 25th anniversary again. Here's the hype sticker on it. Looks great. I have no reason to believe this is going to um, sound anything other than stellar. And um, looks like a great release. Now, another thing I noticed, um, I usually post the purchase link in the bottom or in my uh, description. Uh, it looks like this is out of print, so it, it appears that um, in order to track it down, you're probably going to have to go to eBay or Discog. So I'll post the uh, the link to a place that, like a retailer online that has it for sale. But uh, yeah, that's one thing I noticed when I was kind of getting it added to my Discogs today is that it uh, doesn't look like it's readily available anymore. But uh, 
Anyways, thanks to my brother for the birthday present, even if it's late, much appreciated. And thanks for watching on this uh, another great uh, weekend. And um, y'all have a great rest of the weekend.